Hey, it's Lana here, and I've just been dreaming about making a really delicious cheese board, so I wanna show you how I'm gonna go about it. I decided to make this one meat-free, which just leaves me so much more room for veggies most, because as you should know, my catchphrase is water first, veggies most, which is totally needed when it comes to these grazing tables. Because if you don't start with water first and eat veggies most, it's very easy to fill up on lots of cheese and crackers and tons of nuts, and that's all even before the meal starts. So when you have veggies most, I have 10 different veggies here as part of this, you can't even tell. It adds color, it adds vibrancy, and we're gonna make it look super sexy too. So I'm gonna start with the cheese. So I have a delicious brie here, and I'll anchor that out. I feel like if it's always out, it's more inviting. Everything is about making this more inviting. And I'll place this goat cheese and fig here. And by the way, you should see that this gorgeous custom cheese board was given to us for our wedding almost nine years ago by my best friend Abby and her family. Love it. And uh, it's really nice to just ground a whole cheese board per Ina Garden's tip with a big bunch of grapes. So when you get a lot of grapes in the center, it helps to anchor it down a bit. Maybe that's a little too much. I'm gonna hold off on that second bunch and just try to get a nice inviting open spot. And I have some guacamole here. So I need something to eat that with, right? So these are great seeded crackers. I love these guys. They're packed with seeds and they have three grams of fiber per board. So it's a very smart way to start your whole festivity. And let's get into those veggies, right? So I have all these peppers here. I slice them in half and then in the sink, you wanna just take out all the seeds. It takes, you know, a minute or two, but it really looks beautiful. And it's very inviting because again, these peppers are so easy to just scoop up that delicious guacamole. On top of this, I feel like we need some color. So I'm gonna add some figs. So I have some dried figs here. I tried to get fresh, but it's really hard this time of year to get fresh figs. And I slice them open. I think the more you slice into things, the more inviting the whole experience becomes. So when you open up the fig and you put it on top, and if you'd like, you can drizzle that with a little bit of honey, but I just think that adds a little extra sugar and gets a little sticky, but to each his own. Okay, so I'm gonna decorate that a bit. And one of the best parts of these messy tables is kind of having that overflowing effect. There's something just like really sexy and opulent about that overflowing feel. And these were all washed. All my veggies were washed in advance, as were my hands. <laughs> and then I'm gonna round it out with the pomegranate. So I think pomegranate is a really beautiful thing to add to a grazing table, but you don't want it to bleed and stain your table. So my best recommendation is on a cutting board, you'll slice it in four up here and then down the sides. And when you pull it apart, you get these gorgeous, gorgeous chunks, right? But they're really red and they can bleed and stain your beautiful wood board. So you wanna take it to a side bowl, fill it with water and just really rinse it all off so that when you put it back on your board, everything stays in place and it's just in season. Pomegranates are one of my favorite fruits of all time. I love them and they totally have that like holiday cheer and that deep red, beautiful color. Lovely. Now I have some nuts, so we gotta get a little bit more like crunchy and savory. These are Baruca nuts. Barucas are my absolute favorite nut. They're the world's healthiest nut, 25% less calories and fat and more fiber than any other nut. Um, you can order them at barucas.com. You could even use code Alana to save. I am very close with the founder, Darren, and just love these guys. So again, I'm like getting a little messy, a little crazy but nice and purposeful with some just like good filling, healthy foods. I feel like I need some contrast of color here in the corner. I'm um, thinking maybe let's bring out more of these oranges and yellows, sneak some yellows, tomatoes in here, fill in some of the gaps perhaps, and round it out. Look how many gorgeous veggies I have. Don't worry, we're gonna get to the chocolate. That chocolate is a dark chocolate covered almond. 
overflowing. Who cares? It's all fun. Uh, you can peel some oranges too. Fruit and veggies. I love fruit, but I always say veggies most. So it's a nice compliment here. We have both. We have 10 veggies and probably like eight different fruits, which is always nice. Ooh, my daughter is better at peeling these oranges than I am. She could do it in her sleep. Her and my son probably eat collectively like seven of these a day. <laughs> And they share nicely, which is good. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up here and it's just nice people can take. And that just like looks really nice. And then of course you can also just add whole fruits, which is always cool because there are no rules. These grazing tables have no rules, which is super cool and up my alley. Nothing too restricted in any way. And I have these gorgeous kiwis. By gorgeous, I mean, I really worked hard and tried to figure out how to achieve this stunning look. And it takes a little trick, but I'm gonna show you what it is. So you take a whole kiwi and you slice it in half. And then you take a good knife and you just go in to the sides and make these grooves. You want them nice and wide, not deep. So that's what I realized. It's like, you want nice wide grooves. They don't have to be too deep. And again, they don't have to be perfect. And if it's not great, you could always just slice it and try again. So that's what I did because it definitely took me one or two turns to kind of figure it out. But then it's just really beautiful and fun. This is all just about being fun. That's the whole theme. If it's fun and it feels inviting and it feels satisfying, then uh, you're doing it right. So I think this board is looking stunning, personally. but I'm pretty impressed, right? Just a few minutes and your cheese board is done.